Hello, Internet. Just wanted to make a quick video about the Solivair 8i Derby boot. Um, I was trying to find information on the gaucho leather, and I was having a very difficult time finding any info. I even reached out to Solivair NPS to see if they could provide me with additional photos other than what's on the website the Solivare website and they told me to join a Solivare Facebook fan page which I did join and even there I only found maybe an additional photo or two um, so I figured I'd just make a real quick video just to give people an idea of what the gaucho leather is this is the burgundy gaucho and I was definitely couldn't find much on this stuff other than I think there's three photos on the website um, I just got these last week I wore them around the house a few hours and then I wore them out once to dinner last night you can see they're already starting to break in I guess you could say So far, I'd say that the break-in on these is a lot easier than the break-in on these. These are made in England, Doc Martens. I've had these for years. Uh, I don't really, I haven't done anything to these. I've never conditioned them. I've never, like, cleaned them off. But I do love the Doc Martens, the made in England Docs. I know people complain about them online. And I don't, I'm not, like, a heavy user. I, I use, you know, I wear these once in a while. If I'm going out, maybe going out to dinner with my wife, I might toss them on. I want to do a couple punk rock shows. Probably where they're all scuffed up. But yeah, these were a little bit stiffer. It seemed like this full grain gaucho leather seemed to be way softer, much more comfortable out of the box. And it is a full grain leather. There's a few spots, like I don't know if it's there. When I first opened these, I could you could literally see like scars on the like on the, the skin of the animal that were like right on the boot I'll grab the other one maybe it's on the other boot I forget where it was but yeah overall I'd say these are super nice they seem a little bit more substantial than the made in England docks even though they're, they're softer out of the box and not as much break-in required uh, they seem to be just a bit more like a substantial heavier duty it seems like when i put these on now it's almost like oh man i feel like i'm wearing sneakers and these feel like an actual boot they do have a shank you can see the shank right in the middle there oh shit you can see the shank right here i don't know if that's translating on camera or not But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. I was a little surprised that, you know, these are almost... I was hoping for more of like a, a burgundy or a maroon. And I guess this is what you'd call burgundy. Uh, they look almost a little bit purple out of the box. I can tell that like in the areas that uh, where they're wearing in, it's going to lighten up. It won't be quite as like purpley and like any scuffs might you know be less purpley but my wife was like well it is burgundy like a wine so i mean i guess that makes sense um i saw online somebody had this pair of boots and they threw some dubbing on them i mean they had worn them pretty good they were like you know a lot of scuffs and very worn and they put dubbing on them and they just got like real dark again they just like soak that right up, which is nice. That's the nice thing about a full grain leather. This stuff, this like corrected grain, it's not going to absorb much. I mean, there's very little pore structure exposed. It's almost more of just like a, just use some boot polish. Whereas this, you can actually use some conditioner on them. All right, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Good boots though. Definitely com very comparable to the Made in England Docks. Maybe, I mean, you know, everyone online says they're better. Uh, they seem a bit more substantial. 
out of the box. So I guess we'll see. Maybe uh, I'll do an update video in a couple months after I've given them some heavier wear. Adios.